So what will you do this week? Well, this week we're going to continue our discussion on igneous rocks, except that we're going to focus here on volcanic rocks and in particular volcanoes. And so in the last module, we talked about igneous rocks in general. Okay, we talked about the different types and what is an igneous rock. Composition and texture was something important that we use to identify igneous rocks. We talked about crystal size, where they form and what that means. And there was a little bit more of a focus on the intrusive igneous rocks. And those are, of course, the rocks that form inside the earth. Now, of course, we also wanted to tie all that stuff back to plate tectonics. So we talked a little bit about, you know, where does the igneous rocks form or where do they form? Right. So they're forming at plate boundaries where we have some mechanism to cause the mantle to partially melt. And so that's a divergent, certain convergence and things like that and some hot spots. So here we're going to focus on the stuff that makes it to the surface. And we're going to talk about how important composition is when we look at volcanoes. And so this is what the PowerPoint will kind of mainly look through. It's going to categorize different volcanoes. We're going to give them names. And of course, they have particular properties. And the thing that's really driving the shape and types of volcanoes is the composition of the material or the magma or the lava. And so that's what PowerPoint will focus on. In addition, you can see there's a link to the textbook here and it kind of talks same thing about you know just give you some more information about this different volcano types and things like that and so because we have different compositions of volcanoes they look different but they also erupt differently and so we have ones that are less violent less explosive and ones that are extremely explosive and so you kind of go through that in the powerpoint in addition i added a few kind of youtube videos that illustrate some of the hazards associated with volcanoes so not all volcanoes have the same hazard types and you can hopefully relate that back to how explosive they are so something that's more explosive may have some different types of hazards so here's a few pyroclastic hazards or pyroclastic flow is a type of hazard a lahar is a type of hazard and of course there's a short little video that shows you the Mount St. Helens eruption, which was an intermediate type volcano. And so you can go ahead and take a look at that. And that's what you'll cover, of course, for the volcano kind of main lecture quiz here. Then the other things I want you to do is look at this article that talks about what's called the VEI or Volcanic Explosivity Index. And this is just a way to measure kind of what the you know the, the word kind of indicates how explosive a volcano is and so we're going to judge how much material has been ejected or blown out of the volcano during an eruption so we can estimate that and of course it's kind of like you know rating earthquakes right we want to give it some magnitude scale is it big was it small so you can look at that for the article quiz the video quiz and the video is going to be uh, how the earth was made series Krakatoa, it's a, it's a really well done video, I think, and of course it describes the eruption of Krakatoa, which was a very violent eruption, and it's still falling in this kind of intermediate type volcano, but there is a range here. It's kind of like the Mount St. Helens, right? Composed of similar volcanic rocks, magmas, and lavas, but this one was super violent, so compared to Mount St. Helens, it, it's higher on the scale of violence here and there's a, a several lots of kind of hazards associated with that that they go through and do a really good job i think of illustrating how something like this can be so violent and have the potential to do damage you know from distances away you know a lot of times you think well if i'm not right near the volcano i'm okay not always the case and you'll see that with the video here and then finally the homework just a few more questions about volcanoes um there's going to be a couple parts here, but this is, if you click the link here, it's just going to take you to a Canvas quiz. It's just formatted that way, right? But it's not timed, so it's just a way that you can enter your answers in Canvas itself and then just submit it. I can grade that later. There is a link to a website for one of the questions where you'll pull some information from. But the rest of the information is just going to come from either the module here, the book, the online book, 
course, you could Google everything, which is what everybody does anyway. <laughs> but uh, whatever you need to do to answer the questions is acceptable. Of course, except for that last question where you're going to be directed to a particular website. Okay, I think that's what we got going on here. And then, of course, in the in the lab, they're, you know, same lab format as always, except that this, this week we're going to focus on volcanic rocks. So the previous lab was on the plutonic, the stuff inside the Earth. These are going to focus on the stuff that made it to the surface for the lab and so float on the surface. So small crystals here because they don't have time to grow because of their cooling rate is fairly quick. And so that's what you'll look at in lab. And then as always, if you're struggling with any of the content, you're confused about something or you need some help, please don't hesitate to contact me.